Hi, my name's Tracy. Hello, my potty friends. Um, I thought I'd introduce myself. This is the first time I've got to talk to you all. And although it's called Love Grandpa on the site, I am actually Grandma, not Grandpa. And um, that name kind of came a long time ago. Um, and I wrote a book. Didn't get it published, but I've written it and I've illustrated it. And we'll see one day what happens. Um, but Love Grandpa has followed me for quite a long time. The studio part of it, where there is clay, is actually called Earth Pottery Studio. And if you imagine the earth with a little e, a big A, a big R, and a big T, and a little H, R is in the middle. So it's Earth Art Studios. So that's us. That's when we're in the studio. Love Grandpa does a lot of other things and we advertise on there as well and the shop is on there. Um, but I just wanted to tell you a little bit about me. I started this not that long ago in 2017 in November. I just decided I'd bored of work, didn't want to do it anymore. And I thought, well, right, what can I do? I need a change of vocation. I was going to give myself a bit of time. I was going to give myself some time to just step away and learn a new thing. I watched the great pottery throwdown. That was the turning point. And I, I just decided, that's it. That's, that's exactly what I want to do. So I bought some air dry clay. When I bought the air dry clay, I didn't realise at the time that you can't fire it and it's actually not as strong or robust. But... I created some things that people said that were really lovely. So I'll take that on the chin. Here's one of them. This is Claude. There's quite a few others, and I'll show you those later. But um, Claude and Bert and Henry, there's loads of them. And... I haven't done any sculpture since I've done those, but I have started potting. So in the November, I started, and then by the January, I was making them for other people. So I loved it. But I ha I didn't have anywhere to fire them. And this was just devastating. If you can imagine your baby, your creation, your thing that you love, and you take it away and give it to somebody... And they just slam it down on a shelf and they whack it in a kiln with everybody else's stuff. Don't care whether it's on the right temperature or not. Not that I knew at that point. But didn't didn't care about it at all. But I'd slaved over every tiny little hair on that dog's head. And I needed to make sure that I was in control. So I went out and I bought Nessie. Nessie is my big green kiln. I bought it from a school. Best thing I ever did. It came with every glaze you can imagine, although I have got some in here now and I've added to it and one thing and another. But that was such a good start for me. And it had all the kiln bits and pieces with it. So I was good to go. I, I could just do pottery. I could do whatever I wanted. So what I did was I then got the bug and I thought right okay I'm just gonna have a little pottery lesson went to my lo local art center had a half hour session and in that time I made four pots the guy was angry with me he said I thought you was a beginner I said I've never sat on a wheel in my life I do not know anything about it I've watched hundreds of YouTube videos so I know the principles but I did I never I'd never sat there well he said I went back the next week and he said, well, I think he was kidding me and that you've done this many times before. And I was so embarrassed. And I said, I promise you, I haven't. I really haven't. Just, I guess I found it easy. So anyway, needless to say, I never went back. I was really upset by it. Not that upset, but, you know, it did. It did sort of throw me a little bit. And I ordered a Shimpo potter's wheel. It was so exciting. Honestly, if you could have seen me, I was like a kid for a whole week. 
I was phoning her. I wanted to know when it was coming. I just needed to get it there. And the day it arrived, my son said, I will make you a stand for it and then you can just carry on and get on. Well, since that day, I haven't looked back. Everything I've done, I've learned off of YouTube. I've watched video after video after video after video. I can't even tell you how many videos I've watched. Um, people like John the Potter, John Leach, um, Cherico, all of these people... If, if you're a pottery fan, you'll probably have watched some of their videos. Um, and I just loved it. My pots were dining. I started making pots and they were this big. And I was so happy because I made mugs and they were this big. But they had handles and they were real. And they, they were just good. And I could fire them in my kiln. So everybody had a lot of espresso mugs. Then I kind of got to the point where I just gave it a miss. I, I, I felt really pressured into the fact that I was making this stuff but I wasn't earning anything out of it and I wasn't doing anything with it. And I felt a bit guilty, but it was such an expensive hobby that I couldn't just leave it like that. And the funny thing was, a little while ago, my other half said to me, we need some new plates. So I said, all right, I'll order some. I'll go on eBay and I'll order some. And he went, no. Hey. No, you've got a kiln and a potter's wheel. You can make them. And I was like, oh, yes, yes, I can. I can make them. Couldn't do plates at the time, but I've tried and I tried. And eventually we got plates. So even if you don't know, you just practice and it comes to you. So now I've been going ever since. And to be honest with you, I just love it. My mugs are bigger. They're so much bigger. And I'm proud of that fact. I can actually call them adult mugs. Not, you know, not mini mugs. Adult mugs. I'll show you one. There. That is an adult mug. There you go. So I did it. And now I've set up my shop. I've got everything ready to go on Facebook. Um, I want to try and do some videos for you so that you can see what we're all about. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you the studio. I won't do it today, but I just thought I'd make a little introduction. I'm really happy to meet you all. I hope you keep coming back and looking at the things I put on. They're going to be different things. And I don't always stick to doing mugs and bowls and things like that. I might make a reindeer or moose or something else who knows so you never know what you're going to see um if you've got any ideas or things that you'd like to talk about you can let me know um i'd love to interact with you a lot so let's see how we go if you like it come back and see me if you don't like it sorry and we'll go from there okay see you crazy potters bye bye bye